Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you an update on the Hawaiian Silky for regular uh, cream conditioning relaxer. Now, as someone who does my own hair, I've been putting this product to the test over the past few years. Okay. So as you can see, this is just a few of the many products that this brand carries. Okay. So now let's talk about what the brand claims. All right. First off, Hawaiian Silky promises a smooth and straight result reducing frizz and basically just leaving your hair with a silky finish and you know as someone who uh, with naturally curly hair I was intrigued you know I was pretty intrigued to see how well it lived up to their uh, you know to these claims okay so I just thought I'd come on here and share some info so I began by following the instructions very carefully which they all the products have an instruction on the back um, the application was very straightforward, and I appreciated, I really appreciated the detailed guidelines that's provided by the brand. And um, so the creamy consistency of the, this cream conditioning product made it very easy to apply evenly throughout my hair. And as we all know, when you do your own hair, there's a lot of times you struggle to see the back. So after the recommended processing time, I rinsed it out and followed up with the included neutralizing shampoo, which is this here. We've got the small one and the bigger size. Um, the results were very impressive. My curls were transformed into sleek, straight, manageable hair. And that's the way I, I like my hair. The frizz was significantly, <coughs> sorry, greatly reduced and the silky finish was noticeable. And I will say my hair feels very nice and soft. I mean, it really does feel soft to the touch. It's not oily and it creates very long-term effects. So the long-term effects, I've been using this product here for a few years now. You can go check out my other videos and my reviews and the long-term effects are very, very promising. Uh, my hair maintains its straightened look, okay, which is what I prefer. And I've noticed that the product helps with manageability during the styling process. It's so much easier to deal with. Now let's get into the pros and cons. Let's just break it down, okay? <laughs> On the positive side, uh, the results are great and the application process is very user-friendly. I mean, so user-friendly for beginners, especially if you're someone who struggles to see what you're doing in the back of your head because you, just, you don't have concave mirrors and stuff like that or a person helping you great for that however it's important to note that like any chemical relaxer process is crucial very very crucial to follow the instructions so that you avoid damage at all costs um, before I wrap up this review there's a crucial point I want to also emphasize which is avoiding overlapping on already conditioned hair because the ingredients is already processing on that hair it's a really key consideration when using any type of relaxer, okay? Including the, Reli the Hawaiian Silky brand because it's so gentle, but you still have to be very careful. And what I, I once knew a few people who would do this and they always wondered why their hair wasn't growing at all. And literally their hair stayed the same length for years and years and years. And it was simply because they were overlapping. They were not allowing that growth to breathe, okay? So I just want to say overlapping um, occurs when you like apply the product to the hair that's already received the process in a previous application. You can't do that. You have to be very careful not to do that. So it's like you're basically putting the cream on old hair when, you're, when it's supposed to just go on new hair only. Okay, I hope that helps somebody. You don't keep applying it to your old hair unless, of course, it's a virgin application and you have absolutely nothing in your hair, okay? And the reason why this is important because it can lead to over-processing, it, it causes damage, it causes breakage and weakening of your hair strands. And that's why some people's hair don't grow, okay? So it's very, very essential to protect the previously processed hair sections during each application, okay? Um, 
I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can avoid doing this. To prevent overlapping, I just recommend that you section your hair very carefully. Use banana clips. Make sure you separate it before applying this type of product. Okay. Like I said, use hair clips or hair ties to, you know, separate already processed hair from the new growth. Okay. Because this ensures that the cream process is applied only to new hair. The new growth is coming straight from your scalp, allowing for even results without compromising the integrity of your hair. Okay. Or if you feel that's doing too much, like me, <laughs> I like to keep things as simple as possible, then just apply oil or conditioner like on the ends of your hair so it doesn't process on that part of your hair and it just moisturizes your strands. And then you'll feel more comfortable, you know, applying it, um, you know, without doing serious damage. In my own experience, I take very extra care to section my hair neatly. Yes, I do do my hair myself and I ensure that each section is done evenly um, this not only helps maintain the health of my hair but also it contributes to um, a more uniform and professional looking result and I've done this myself actually today um, and this is when my knowledge and skills in cosmetology come in because I was a cosmetologist when I graduated high school and I feel very glad that I know these things so that I know what I'm doing when I do my own hair because there's a lot of people you can't trust. There's people out there that will literally mess you up. So I'm very, very thankful to have cosmetology skills under my belt. I know how to trim my own ends. I know how to do most of the basic stuff to maintain and care for my own hair for those days when I can't go or don't want to go to the salon. Okay. So whether you're a seasoned do-it-yourself hair enthusiast or you're a first-time user of this type of product and relaxers, Always be mindful of avoiding overlapping on previously processed hair. I just can't stress that enough. And you'll see a difference in your hair growth. It's a simple yet very crucial step in preserving the health and strength of your tresses. Okay. That concludes my update on the Hawaiian Silky uh, Regular Relaxer. We've got the mild. This is mild and this is regular. So if you found this information helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more hair care tips and reviews coming down the pipeline as always i want you to take care of your beautiful hair i give this product a big thumbs up and absolutely love how long it lasts it lasts a long time and let's see in conclusion um i just want to say um the the hawaiian silky brand the relaxer has become it can become a great staple in your uh, do-it-yourself hair care routine why well because it delivers on its promises it leaves your hair so smooth and soft it's frizz free and with that coveted silky finish it just feels soft like cotton so if you're someone who enjoys doing your own hair this could be a game changer for you um I hope that these tips were helpful for you. Now, if you've tried this product or you happen to have any questions, please, please don't feel uh, hesitant to leave, let me know in the comments below. And I try to respond to people's questions within 72 hours. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more beauty and hair care content. Um, I just want to say, uh, you know, take care of your hair. Um, I don't know if many of you have been watching my other videos, but I did have bleach in my hair. And I could have did the big chop, but I didn't want to do that. Um, a woman's hair is her glory, so I wasn't going to do that. So I gradually grew the blonde out of my hair. I clipped it myself until it was completely gone. I did not cover it up with hair dye or any of that. I naturally let the bleach grow out. And this is the result. And I'm starting brand new, my natural hair. And I will say that I feel so much better. Uh, blonde is so damaging. I probably won't ever try that color again. Um, I'm good. It was just something fun to do. I was bored and just wanted a new color. But, uh, yeah, this is me right here. And I just, you know, you don't always have to be, do a big chop. You can gradually nurse your hair back to health by just clipping your ends every so often. Every six to eight weeks is a, is a, is a good amount. It's a good time frame. So I just wanted to make mention... 
I went to a hairstylist and it was a guy and he was kind of jacking me up. I don't know if he even had a license to perform and maybe he was just operating in a family owned business. Um, but I did not like what he was, the results I was getting from him. So I had to take action and take control of my own dresses. And I got to work, working on my own hair. Like I said, thankfully being a cosmetologist myself, I know how to do pretty much close to professional work. I probably need to brush up on my skills. And like I said, sometimes it's hard to see the back, but yeah, if, if you don't trust people in your own hair, learn how to do it yourself. All right. So that's all I have. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Be safe, love, and peace. Bye.